Okay, Akomodo Crypto here with another Bitcoin update. Yeah, so nice weekend, not a lot of movement. And what I would like to do today is to talk a little bit about the overall picture. Huh? It's important, right? Just see, I'm gonna try to be brief, but it's not gonna be easy, huh? So this is my count one, two, three four five here we have the uh, extensions we have this really nice confluence here that the 200 no, i'm sorry 2618 is uh it seems to be a sweet spot for a wave three during this movement upwards here you see here 2618 you see here for the wave three here 2618 we see here but then we have the 400 618 for our wave 5 we break it and then we have the almost 20k right and we go down okay uh, the way that i see this is this is a clear wave 2 uh, it's taking longer than usual it's not okay it's a complex correction it's taking some time to finish it and we are we need to wait right but it's a simple count this is a one okay we have this whole complexity for wave two if you go to bitstamp or to another uh to other exchanges you're gonna see that you don't have those weeks um but this is a triangle it's a complex uh, structure perhaps a wxy and i would need to go in deep over this but I, I I'm not gonna do this now um, but then afterwards after this two when we establish this lower this lowest point here ignore this week ignore because we don't have this week in other exchanges then we have this one two three two hundred six one eight four here three of the higher degree the same degree uh, again two hundred six one eight the projection okay the, the extension to from this one to this two, we have this 20618. Uh, I'm sorry, we have this 20618. We have the projection from this one to this two. This one 20618. Then we have this two project to the to the four here. The three project to the four. We have the 20618 for our wave five and for the finish of this wave three. Okay. Then we have this 20618 again. 40618. For, to finish this whole structure uh, the way I'm counting here the time period that, that it has that, that it took to finish this whole impulse wave were it, it were 400 I'm sorry 846 days okay in relationship to this we have 206 247 days that we have been correcting okay starting from the same point here okay okay uh let's let's talk a little bit more let's talk about let's talk in deep about this correction in time if we go to bit step as i said okay we don't have those weeks we have a bit of a different type of a correction here for our wave two okay this would be our wave one this would be our wave two then we would start this impulse then we would have 1062 days it's a bit different it's and the difference is important okay i would consider the i would consider bit stamp uh as uh, as more important the, the data is more valuable because a bit step is older okay and we ha we have more consistency in the in the data so this would be a real one this then this would be the two and we would go up Okay, would have this structure here that I'm gonna talk in detail. I'm gonna explain the the correlation in time between the movements that we have seen so far. Okay, this is the wave five. The finish of this whole structure is a wave one of a higher degree. Okay, then we have this whole correction in time that is happening. Okay. Uh, Okay, let's see what I have marked here. So this first correction here, this is an A, B, C, a clear A, B, C, okay? It has correct, it has reduced in value almost 
Okay, I think we can. It's 70%, right? Uh, let, 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 let me zoom this thing just to catch the, the weak, the bottom of the. Yes, we. There it is. Okay. Okay, there it is. Yeah, it's almost 70%. Okay, this one I need to. Okay, let. We want to be really precise. And this. Okay. Okay, we have correcting just three months, right? 50, 52 days. We have correct almost. <laughs> we have correct 70%. We have lost 13k in value. Okay, this was the first correction, really sharp and and uh, strong. Then we have this. The, the the reaction of the reaction of this movement was a 95 percent of increase of uh, of course uh, related to this amount of value how much we have uh, from this 6k here it was 6k we have almost doubled so almost 100 percent of increase from this point here to this point here okay in only one month 28 days this is our wave x then we have the longest period of the correction which was this y uh, a b c a zigzag here the way that i'm calling it okay a b c this was a 50 percent decrease from this high so from this highest point here we correct 50 percent Okay, and in 150 days, 115 days. Sorry. So this is uh, like the the longest period that we have that we have we have been correct. This movement here took like uh, the majority of time. Okay. Then we had a reaction. Again, this time 46 percent of this this low here from this low here to this high 46 percent in 26 days we see that waves those two waves here wave x here and wave x here we have took almost the same amount of time which is a really important data right let, let me be let me be precise here is is it like here right if we yes it's almost almost a, one day short right one day only it's it, it can be just a, a, a simple coincidence right guys um, <clears throat> let me take this from this bottom here yes. yeah so 27 days this is amazing this is it is this a coincidence I don't think so I think we have a relationship here right and now this is this is the beginning of what I'm calling here Z okay and we have this projection here that I think is gonna be at least the same length of this but I perhaps we, we would finish this soon than than we think okay uh, 95 bars we would, we would need to see some kind of relationship between these 50 this first uh, correction here and this is the second one I think that we would have something sharper than this sideways correction here right remains to be seen if we have a triangle here we might have a correction that, that would take a lot more time okay this is just a speculation guys okay this is not I can't tell you for sure what's the amount of time that we are going to spend in this correction okay, but it seems to be <laughs> Uh, taking this into account okay the amount of time that we have spent in that we have already spent in this correction is 245 days let, let's me let me just adjust this for the for today is today is the the 20th so <clears throat> 207 247 days okay the relationship I, I won't do the math but it's 30 percent Okay, the third percent of the time spent in the impulse we are correcting now okay so we are correcting from this 1000 days 1000 days we are correcting for 30 percent of the time okay so uh, what would be what we would like to see i don't know perhaps 
300 bars here, 300 days, 350 days, something like here. That's why I'm, that's why I'm kind of speculating this thing, giving the, giving you guys this forecast here. So let's let's perhaps a bit more, okay? Uh, the way that this is moving, it's really slowly. So I don't know. <laughs> It's difficult. This is a, a a long shot to to really give you guys with confidence what I think about the the end of this correction. Okay. Okay. Remember, guys, if you have been following me, this is also a possibility, an A B C D E as the end of this wave Z. Okay. This is also a possibility. We haven't invalidated. We have this blue dotted line here that has uh, act as a resistance. Okay. And B is not yet there, okay? We have, a, I am expecting at least 50% of this whole movement here, at least 50%, okay? Remains to be seen what's going to happen, okay? Uh, another piece of information that I would like to give you guys. I'm going to use another chart just to, to not have a lot of information clut cluttering everything here, okay? So let's get our FIB retracement tool here from the top to the from this pivot top here, almost 20k to the bottom. Okay, just to start getting some uh, relationships, right? So 38, 20% here of uh, where it stopped. Okay, this first X here. Okay, so this is the my first FIB here retracement. Okay, to start seeing some targets. Okay, first. Fib retracement, second fib retracement from this top from to this low here. Okay, then B retraced 65 uh, right in the, right in, right into the, pocket, the golden pocket here, the sweet spot. Okay, from this to this. Now from this to this. Okay, from this top here to this bottom here. We're gonna see it that we have some confluences as what we what we might have as targets oh this isn't isn't it really nice that we have this minus 33 six percent as a our target here then we have this strong confluence here i mark it i i have marked this this strong confluence here starting at the uh, 4900 to the 4400 we have this awesome confluence here from all those pivots uh, from from those retracements here we start to have some confluence another confluence here is this minus 618 minus 618 we have both here 3400 is it is it impossible to get there um i wouldn't say that we have those all targets here so remains to be seen right remains to be seen we have this target here as well that would that could be a uh, why not right if we don't go that low perhaps this target here minus 33 60 percent okay some targets here for the long run okay for the for yet to be confirmed if this is gonna happen but this get, gives us more data more information okay we have also this minus 33 60 percent here another elbow target from the whole structure okay from this whole whole uh, from this pivot high here to this low we have this minus 33 60 percent minus 33 60 percent from this first pivot here but we don't have some nice confluences like we have in now in now in, 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 like we have those confluences in this one in this one here we have some confluences here that gives us more confidence okay but i will mark this one as well if this would be a my goodness right 2k oh i would buy a lot <laughs> okay so this is the daily chart okay let's take a look at the weekly chart as i said yes this is a indecision candle right a spinning top what is telling us hmm we have a reaction, right? We have a reaction. Uh, what about the... Wait a sec. Uh, sorry, guys. 
we had a reaction indeed uh, let me yes here what we haven't touched the 21 or the 55 EMA we almost touched the still 100 EMA here but we have react before touching it now we are about to start the week right we have this spinning top this is this is telling us what indecision trend reversal i would i would read this as a way of uh this is this tells me that this, it's a bullish candle right come on it's a bullish candle okay an indecision candle but it's more like a bullish candle because we have uh the same candle here see going down one two three then this candle here then some reaction see this has happened before so why not it's not exactly the same pattern but you see T try to to break the blue line here the trend line and reaction i expect a reaction because i'm expecting a wave b this is the way i'm counting this is the way that i'm using the elliott waves okay i'm expecting this b here okay <clears throat> so uh let's take a look at the hour chart okay okay so this is uh this count is not easy okay i have marked this as a c i was expecting the c to go lower and to have like those green lines here because we have the 127 20 percent here of the extension a through b and we have this 100 is here this green line here and the 127 is here so i was expecting it i'm going to start to not not expect this any any further more why because we have this line here okay seems to be a strong strong support here okay and uh, we are trying to break this resistance once and twice so how i would label this according to elliott waves okay this is a difficult one because we have almost a double top okay but not really there okay let, let, let's mark it like this allow me a bit of a this is a barrier okay this is a barrier but we failed to touch it again then i would be like 100 percent confident that this was, this was a uh, try a barrier triangle a b c d e and up we don't have that confidence because we fail to touch here okay what this tell me that my count might be wrong okay my count might be wrong these here and e then we would go up okay uh, as I need to deal with with what the market is giving me, I am gonna present you guys this count here. Okay, the D is really short. It, it should go right like this, but the market doesn't care about Elliott waves. And I see here an A, B, C. I see a D, and now an E here. So in order for this, the uh, in order for this count here to be proven be correct would you need to have a throw over here perhaps what is a throw over a uh, week or uh, some bars you're trying to go down and then it would have a reaction to finish this to finish this b here of a higher degree this b this yellow b here is this b here guys okay uh this b here of a of this higher of this of, of my overall picture here okay seven two hundred okay so yes uh i am bullish my not really bullish but for the short term i'm a bit bullish because i i see that we need this movement here okay to get to at least 7k b to correct this whole movement it was a really nasty movement this one okay so are we go i am gonna wait for this movement here i'm gonna short let's see this this doesn't have a lot of room okay i am gonna we are gonna have 
we are gonna have this data here whether we are we are in a triangle or not like today or perhaps tomorrow okay then if it, if it breaks down here I would need to reconsider this count or if it go up we, we would it would it would give confidence that this is the count this is the correct count okay so uh, as I have been telling you guys, now I have a Discord group. It's a free group that I provide an indicator for you guys. I provide a suite of indicators that is a mix of different kind of uh, awesome tools that you can use. If you use uh, the free trading view, it's a nice indicator because you can add to your free trading view when you, do, you, want, you don't need to use a free slot just one slot and you have like 12 different indicators okay join us in our discord let's talk about it let's talk about bitcoin crypto we have a really nice group there okay if you haven't followed me on social media on twitter please consider doing so i would be really happy to have you guys follow me there asking me questions and as always uh, giving me feedback Enjoy your trades, guys. Have a wonderful week. Cheers.